What's up, guys? It's Jules. Time for another weekly update. Let me talk about my progress on all of these crazy projects. It is the last week of March already. How is that possible? The first quarter of the year is gone. About ready to enter into April. I do not do April Fool's jokes. I do not do those. Those are not cool. I don't do those. Uh, I don't like the premise. I don't like the premise of it, but... Anyway, I get really, I get really touchy about that. I get really mad. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired because I just broke my, uh, the thing that holds my phone on this stand, which I'm using just a basic one. I broke it. It was, uh, it's like a bendable metal type thing, maybe aluminum of some kind. Can you see it? And I broke it. Because I'm so strong. Anyway, I guess I gotta get me. I mean, it still works with just two of them. It just won't be able to stand up, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. Oops. We can use this for all kinds of cool things, though. I don't know. I have to figure out how to use it, but I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. Ah, uh, I'm gonna uh, at the end of the video. We're gonna talk about the bees because we have a very important beehive update at the end of the video. We'll we'll do that after cross stitch, and. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just tired. My back is like barking at me, going, rah, rah, it hurts, I'm weak, you gotta work me out. Rah. All right, uh, so, oh goodness gracious. Let's see what we made some progress on. I, I swear these weeks just fly by, and before I know it, it's like Monday, Tuesday, I'm like, have I stitched on this piece? Have I stitched on that piece? I can't, I can't remember, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did not work on a pop carry shop this week. I'm working at the bathroom shop. What was he doing? Oh, I was busy. Saturday was pretty much... I worked, and then after work, um... It's a big old smear in the terrarium. Very long vertical smear. Hope it's a smear and not a crack. I'm gonna have to investigate. Uh, anyway, um... Saturday was big work day. Thursday was... I had stuff going on Thursday, too. So... It was, a, it was a good week, but it was just not... I didn't get up to many, as many projects as I, was, as, I would, as I would like. I cannot talk. I didn't get any progress on baseball. Ugh. All right. Really close to finishing this page on Rainy Waterloo Place. Really close. I mean, like, it will get finished this week. I just had to stop because I was just like, uh, push myself a little more. No, I'm going to go work on Honeybee. Here we go. Rainy Waterloo Place. So, as you can see... It is so close. I mean, what, like 12 stitches or something away from finishing? So I'm gonna finish, finish filling that in. And then we just got this partial page. It's like two thirds of a page over here, which should get done a lot faster. And then we'll be able to move down and finally get into all the darker colors. Let's get closer. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here. So anyway, there we go. It's not too much. Just a few different colors that I, I didn't have on hand right away to finish that, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's see. Did I do? Okay. I'm pulling out bears, although I didn't, I don't think I got anything done on bears because it took me most of the week to find the bears project. I'm not sure it was hidden down in a bag with something else and I couldn't find it, but here's the bears project. Duh, bears. Duh, bears. Anyway... We got a month to the draft. I am crazy about the NFL draft. Just the first round or so. That's about all I care about. It's mostly because of quarterback stuff, too. So it's a little crazy. I'm a little crazy. Uh, actually, what we do have is hockey playoffs coming soon. That'll be good. Get that floss off. Dachshund! Dachshund! Almost done. So, so close. Um, just filled in a bunch of more of the little bits and bobs here and there. So I just got to continue filling in all the little bits and bobs everywhere before I move over to this section. So that, that dot is good. So getting really close to getting that done. So I'm super happy about that. I'll come back and do this purple part when I got to move down here. So I won't worry about going back and doing that just as yet. But it's almost done. I mean, to be honest, I could get it done in a week if I organize everything really well. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, this thing like slid a little bit. You guys look like you've shifted in your chairs a little bit. 
Reaper. Reaper. Chirp, chirp. Um, I just got bits and bobs of floss everywhere. It's just all over the place. All right, got more progress done on Reaper. So we're getting there. We're just filling in more of the top part here. I really... Let's see, let me look at this a second. So I did a lot of lighter stuff. So I came up here, I finished all that, came down here a bit, and then also came over here. So I got I got a fair little piece done. Getting closer and closer to getting this page done. Closer and closer. Reaper. Reaper. Alright. What else we got here? What else we got here? All right, well, this is Honeybee. I'm going to show that last. Wow, we just didn't get a lot, a lot of it. I mean, I, I just kept coming back to Honeybee, so I, I definitely used it as the focus piece of the week. So I didn't get a great number of projects worked on. But that's okay. This is a reset week. I'm stitching, man. I'm so stitching. I'm stitching. Old World Map 2 got a little bit of love. I couldn't find some of these colors, of course, that I needed easily. So instead of like taking forever to find those, I just took a couple colors and came down here and just did a little bit on the front row. I'm going to come back and finish this this week. I will. So that way I stay on target. Stay on target. And uh, I think I still needed to order. I placed an order with, um, was it 123 Cross Stitch? But I had an issue on checkout and I got confused and I still haven't finished my order. And I got to finish my order. Confusion. But anyway, so that's coming along very nicely. I get... If I can get all these little bits and bobs done up here, this done this week, and, uh, then I'll, that means I'm also going to move down here. This thing is going to just boogie. It's going to boogie. Showcase. 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 All right. It's a lot of fabric. Not as much as what is in the world. Well, that's a fair bit. All right. All right. Whew, honey Bee Portrait from Hade. So primarily it was just like three different colors. And I took a picture of it last night, put it on the um, blog. I did a better job this week of putting on pictures on the blog of what I'm working on. But it's funny because on the pictures you couldn't really tell the differences in the colors too well. I hope you can see it here. So I got a fair bit. Oh yeah, you can definitely see here. So I got a fair bit done because I estimated that starting the week that I had... Um, maybe maybe 200 and I think I'm, I'm like closer to about six so for me that's pretty good for one week um while I'm kind of getting used to this projecto projecto um so we're gonna come back to this in just a second but uh because I wanted to show I wanted to do something real quick and just see if it worked but birds uh but I uh Nick, this coming week, starting, well, technically starting now for me, as soon as I finish the video, I am going to switch over to making Ronnie Rowe, U.S. Capital, Rahel, focus piece of the week. Whoa, which this is as far as I've gotten so far. So we're going to get a lot more done. A lot more done. So that's pretty good. All right, we're going to work on that. So, oh, come here. Okay, it's still on there. So we're just going to be working on this, like, Whatever these leaves, these branches and stuff are here. We're going to get that done. We're going to get that done. All right. So, I went to Michael's today because, believe it or not, I needed some needles. And the reason why I need needles, my hair like all... No, that was just the... It looked like the reaper was inside my hair for a second. Um, I needed some, I needed some little things. I needed some more little tiny hoops. So, I just get this brand because it's what they have. What does it say? Loops and threads. So, anyway, and it's what, five inch, six inch? Six inch, six inch, six inch. Um, but I like these smaller ones. They fit my face really well. Uh, but I got a couple of those because I needed some more small ones. Um, and well, I got the needles. And you guys always ask me what size needles I use. And apparently I use size five for the big pieces because I do a lot of 14 count Ada and the and the fives are just really easy for me to work with and um, it goes up to like I think I go up to maybe like size 10 I don't use tiny tiny needles I just I don't even on my smallest pieces so and then I got those size 3 through 9 so I'm very happy because I don't know where all my big needles went to I'm sure they're in a the floor B 
who knows where. C, inside cross stitch stuff, who knows. They're just, and they're probably inside chairs and who knows what. So I just needed some more because I'm like, I'm. it's slowing me down when I'm using these tiny little needles with these tiny little eyes and I'm struggling to like thread them. And uh, it just slows me down too much. I can't be slowed down. But on the other hand, we're gonna have a little live experiment here. At least, well, it's gonna be live with me and it's gonna be recorded live. I got us an artist eraser pencil. I got us our little uh, honeybee portrait here. And I continue to get questions about how to get pencil out and whatnot. So we're gonna see, cause you guys have been telling me that um, white eraser pencil can get pencil out of, pencil marks out of thread. What am I talking about? White erasers can get <laughs> pencil marks out of fabric. See, that wasn't that hard, was it? So we're gonna scrub away at this. Let me do. Guys. Now, you can still see it. It's still faint. But it's a lot less than it was. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm wondering at this point if you wash it, if you were to wash it, if it would actually come out. Um, let me take, let me do something that you guys will notice. Okay, so let's do like that dark line right there. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, how about we just erase it together? This is harder than it looks. I could do a better job if I wasn't, hold on, where is it? Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. All right, it's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So it took it way down. So wash it from this point and see. I'm not gonna wash mine. I don't I don't need to wash mine. I, I had a question about on the blog about uh, being concerned about having pencil marks show up behind um, the floss and whatnot. And I'm thinking, and I was just like, well, on a full coverage project, which is the only, you know, the only way that I use pencil nowadays. Um, full cover, there's just not, it's not, I mean, I don't see how that could show up and it doesn't show up. Does it show up? It doesn't show up. No, there's no way it could show up, right? It's not gonna show up. Anyway, um, if you guys are looking for it, I'll, I'll try and find these on Amazon, link it down below, but it's the Westcott, um, it's a Westcott brand of some kind. I tore off the top of it. Did I keep it? I'll have to find uh, the top of the thing that I ripped off. Anyway, so I, you know, I think that for a lot of you guys, I think that's going to work pretty well. So like the ones that came out and said, hey, use your, uh, use your, here, let me just lick it. Let me lick it. It's not perfect, but it's, it's not perfect, but it's less. It's a lot less. Because that might that might work from that point on to wash it. We'll see. I'm just fumbling around here. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so that was exciting. <laughs> um, all right. So what's been up with you guys? Hmm? Starting projects. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, oh, oh, I need to rest. And relax and stitch. I totally need to stitch. So what are we going to get done this week? What are we possibly going to get done this week? So first of all, we're going to get that page finished on page finished on Rainy Waterloo Place. Absolutely. And we're starting the last page on that row. That's big, big time. All right. Let's just look at all of our stuff here. Of course, I took Rainy Waterloo Place down again. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So put this up here. So we're all the way over roughly about right here. This is what we're gonna be finishing and filling in. And then we're gonna come all the way back in here to Tom and Bill, wherever they are, and start working on these guys' legs, put them all back together. It's gonna to look so amazing going forward. So that's that's it, we're getting that page done. We're getting really close to getting the dachshund page done so that we can then start working on um, 
this side of the ear, and then all this purple, which is going to be so much fun to stitch. So much. Baseball needs some needs some good progress. I got to go back up and finish. Uh, what was it page one or two? Page two. Um, finish filling everything in uh, and getting that going. Um, got to make some progress on here. Haven't done any of that. Haven't started this. Um, we'll continue to work on this. Can you guys see? Oh gosh, I didn't even show you. So, oh, on Honeybee Portrait. So it's really dark around the edges, which I really appreciate because it has that look of like aged parchment paper in a sense. Um, so we're, yeah, we're up here. Um, so as I go a little bit, it's going to get lighter and lighter, you know, and whatnot. But that's just going to be a focus, you know, just kind of kind of whittle away at it because I just really like it an awful lot. Got to get back into my blended projects here. So this needs to get some loving. Um, is that dirt or birds in the sky? Is that dirt in the sky? I can't tell what that is. Um, but anyway, so we got to get some of that done. And then that as well. In fact, what I really need to do on both of these is finish putting the floss boxes together that have all the blended thread. That needs to be done. I look like I'm doing thriller. Something like that. Um, well, that, of course, we talked about that. That needs some work. I got to finish the lettering and then move down because we're all the way right here. Deuce. Haven't started that. Need to finish this page. Chipping away at it. Put this away for a while. Got to still finish a couple stitches on that one. Going to work some more on this top part up here on the bears. Pop carry shop needs some loving. It's going to get a little bit... Um, going to start getting some reflections of the building from across the street right up here. Boba Fett, I'm hoping, oh, sorry, I can't even see me. Um, Boba Fett, I picked up a couple colors that I think are the ones that I need because I didn't bring my floss list with me when I was at Michael's today, so I'm hoping I get some pro progress done on that one. I will get some progress done on that one and that one. Reaper, of course, we're cursed. Ronnie Rose is going to be the focus piece of the week, though. We're going to get a ton done. I'm going to get a bunch of this area over here worked on um and for now that's it for now that's it um i always get so excited when i do these vi videos after i get these videos done and i start uploading them and just like i gotta stitch i gotta stitch and so uh so i'll be stitching a lot a fair bit tonight i'm kind of excited about that it is too warm today it's like 72 degrees it's ridiculous it's like spring or something it's absolutely ridiculous uh, okay, um, so that's, that is pretty much the cross-stitch progress. Uh, Ronnie Rowe will be the, U.S. Capital will be the, f uh, the stitch with me, um, for this week, and then we'll do a floss tube interlude, and then, yeah, we're good to go there. Uh, bees, let's talk about bees here for a minute. So, huh, it's been so cold over the last month or so with the bees, and, my husband uh, has been trying to go down there. He's been leaving them um, as like these pollen patties to help them um, kind of produce more honey. Been leaving uh, water down for them as well just to keep them hydrated. Um, although they've, they've been plenty hydrated just because of all the snow and the rain and um, it's been doing pretty good. But we hadn't, you know, he hadn't seen them move, you know, do anything, move at all, come out of the hives because he's always come, gone down there, had to go down there pretty early in the morning, like eight or nine. And usually in the winter time, you're not going to see bees out before 10 or 11 at the earliest. And that's only if the sun is like directly on the hive. It just has to be a certain temperature before they'll even think about venturing outside. So we just, we hadn't seen them for months and kind of considered them lost just because we hadn't seen them. We figured, you know, last year we had kind of a rough year a little bit of a rough year and it was just we just weren't terribly confident about it so my husband went down yesterday with the thought of just let's evaluate the hives let's see where we are and lo and behold four hives are still alive still alive some are thriving more than others but they are still alive and it's absolutely ridiculous i mean it's just nature it's unbelievable so um in case you're wondering how exactly how that happens, because it's always like just a... Because they're literally just in a, a wooden box with um, just basically a wooden box. It's not like it's terribly insulated. We do cover them over the winter with um, certain paper that can kind of help keep the moisture out of the hive um, as well as um, like the winds going through the hive and whatnot. So what they do is 
all the bees will basically surround the queen. She'll be in the middle of this gigantic bee ball. And the bees will basically flap their little wings to create heat. And they basically, the hotter they are, the more they go into like the center of the ball. And then as they kind of lose strength or whatnot, they kind of shift places and their other ones will move in and provide. And they're just basically trying to provide warmth and nutrition to the queen. They'll bring her food, water, whatever they think she might need and to keep her alive basically until it's time to start pollen or start honey production back up again. So no doubt that there's, you know, on days like this, they're absolutely producing honey and doing a great job of it. I don't know what the dogs are barking at. Hold on a second. Just had to yell at Fargo. And so, but, uh, so they stayed alive. That was amazing. And we have three new batches of bees basically coming in. So we're going to have all seven of our hives filled at least at the start of this year. The last Saturday in April is when we're going to install the new bees. <laughs> the new bees. <laughs> oh, I just got that. I, that's funny. I don't think I've ever heard anybody make that joke before. So I'm probably way behind on the curve on that one. But anyway, the new bees, uh, will be put in and then, uh, we're going to see how it goes. This, this, is promising. It's a promising start. And for our fourth year of honey production, I don't know, maybe we're finally getting it. Maybe we're finally getting, maybe we're finally getting it right. But um, a lot of it has just been, I think, us learning to trust the bees and being just a little bit more hands-off and not trying to um, manage them too much and just seeing what happens because it, they seem to always be able to figure things out for themselves and help out everything. So that's pretty awesome, isn't it? It's pretty awesome. So we're super excited about that. Um, so late April, last Saturday of April is our bee installation day. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll probably make a video. We'll probably make a video of that day. Um, we're trying. To get, going to try and do more videos this, this year. My husband has a, a GoPro that he used some last year. But we just got to get... Um, we just got to make the effort to just, you know, sometimes when you're excited about the bees, you just forget about the video and that sometimes happens. So, oh, I did not make a dog video this week. I just, oh man, I was so tired and Monday was a rough day. And, uh, so it's going to get better. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just normal wear and tear and some days you feel better than others. Right. And so, but, uh, yeah, otherwise that's it. Um, trying to think if I can think of it. I don't, I can't think of anything else. I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to, um, I need to change clothes real quick because we're going to go to the dog park as soon as my husband gets home in a minute and, uh, take a couple of the dogs there. Maybe we'll make a video there. That sounds good. All right. You guys take care and I will see you all very soon.